Well, this is Keith Price, and we are here at the Abingdon Theater Gala's big event, 25th annual um, event, celebrating, of course, bringing new theater and honoring <sighs> two-time Tony Award winning, Emmy Award, two-time Emmy Award winning, too, if I'm thinking in my head correctly, Miss B.B. Newworth. Oh, my God. And y'all know how much I love her. So hi, Miss BB. <laughs> hi. I okay. look forward to seeing you here. <laughs> because I'm ridiculous, I know. But you know what's so funny? The last time that I saw you, we were honoring Cheetah Rivera. And we were talking about how it is, that, you know, working and dealing and loving with her. So what's it like for you now to be honored? Well, it's lovely. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Yeah. And I, you know, I always want, I, I keep wondering, are you, you sure you want to honor me? But, I, but okay, great. And I'm very, very flattered and a little embarrassed. Well, why? Why are you embarrassed? <laughs> because, it's, you because it's such a huge compliment. I, I mean, know. it's, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's so funny because every time I see you, I always yell the same thing at you that I want you back on stage. I don't care how we get you, how you do it. You want to sing, you want to dance, you want to do whatever you want to do. I don't care because <laughs> I'm that ridiculous kind of fan for you. But when you have these opportunities, I mean, the thing is working in television because you're having a wonderful time on Madam Secretary. I'm off of Madam Secretary now. Yeah, last night. Spoiler. <laughs> if you taped it and didn't watch it. <laughs> yes, I, my character made her exit a beautiful, they wrote a beautiful exit for my character, and it aired last night, oh. quite late. So So that means you're free for Broadway, ain't you? Yes, I am. Yes. Well, what would you be doing now? At this point right now, like you, you have put your stamp on some really fantastic roles. I mean, Velma Kelly, I mean, you know, we know it's Cheetah. But for those of us of a certain generation, it's you. And that's my introduction to you. Oh, well, um, it's like, but to, to come back to stage now, is there anything that you thought that you might wanted to do? And then now you have a little bit more free time to possibly do it? What's, what's cooking for you? Um, sort of, yes. But I am going to frustrate you because I don't like to talk about my I, I, yeah. Yeah, ideas. You know, There's nothing concrete at all. It's right. just what I've been thinking about I like to because that's part of the creative process. So I need to keep that um, I don't know, I'm doing something with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I'm, I'm just I need to keep the, my cards up right. close to my chest and, and really just try to um, figure something out. Fantastic. Well, they're honoring you. I don't want to keep them to keep you. I know there's other people that are going to talk to you, but I always, 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 I have so many different memories of, of exchanges with you, and one of my favorites, and I don't think, you won't remember this, but you taught a class. I was still working at St. Vincent's Hospital, and you taught a dance class that was kind of fossy and something else with, it was you and Ashford, Rob Ashford. You split taught this class where you did some Fosse stuff and then he did some really weird, like we did Thoroughly Modern Millie or something. He did something from the class and it was a dance class. Yes. And it was, it was for charity, for like Broadway Cares or somebody uh -huh, else. Uh -huh. And I remember you telling me I was wearing like this oversized shirt because of course I'm very self-conscious and I'm in a dance class which doesn't seem like what I would yeah, be doing. All self-conscious in dance class. And you looked at me and you were like, oh no, you're going to have to pull, put that away. I, you need to tuck that in because I need to see your waist move. And I remember yeah. thinking. Well, I hope it wasn't scary. Oh, no. <laughs> I was so like, oh, my God, she singled me out. I feel fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, a lot of schools, they won't let you, a lot of dance schools, they won't let you wear leg warmers. They won't let you wear, you know how we, we figure out where the leg warmer should go to give us a better line <laughs> exactly. and all that stuff. No, you have to take everything off because you really do need to see the line. And I can't. I wouldn't have been able to help you if I just, I, I, what's Morpheus in there? Man, what do you, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But Miss Beebe, again, thank you so much. It's like every time for me, it's fabulous. And I'm so glad that you have time. And I'm glad that people are honoring you and taking the time to kind of recognize your fabulousness, girl. Pow. <laughs> Y'all, I'm with the honoree, Beebe Newworth. And again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay, we have to have a selfie. Okay. Okay.